Bakery Kids, my name is Odette. I hope you guys have had a fantastic week this week. I know I sure have. Now, let's make sure we're sitting nice and quiet, listening really well, because it's time for today's message. All right then, it's going to be a big week. Let's get everybody in this Zoom that we need for this planning meeting now. Who was it that I was meant to be inviting? Oh yeah, probably should have invited Jesus a little bit earlier since it's all about him, but let's add him to the meeting. Uh, who else? Oh, we need the uh, angel Gabriel. Oh man, there's gonna be a bit of a long meeting with uh, him. He's gonna go, do you remember when I said fear not to Mary? He got so many, many stories, but he does have experience of those people down on earth. So he's added to the meeting as well. Then I'm going to need somebody to take notes. Oh, Harold could be a good one. We don't bring him out very often. He still thinks those carols we sing are about him. Hark the Harold angels sing. And he probably will want to sing, but let's just add him anyway. Okay, that's everybody added to the Zoom. Jesus is online. All right, Jesus, my man. And uh, who else we got? Oh, yep, Harold's here. All right, Harold. High five. Just an air high five. Just, just an air high five. That's right. I can't, I can't feel you through the screen, right? And then, uh, Gabe's having a little bit of a trouble. He's um, he's a bit older than the rest of us. He's trying to find the right keys. Gabe, Gabe, your camera. Gabe, Gabe, you, you, that's it. Well done, your camera. Brilliant. Well done. Oh, he's made it. All right, Gabe's right. Everybody's online now. Can you just go round the room and tell everybody who you are? I don't know whether you say round the room in Zoom, but you know what I mean. Introduce yourself, just so we know. I think we all should know each other, but can you just go around the room so that we know? Oh God, it's great to be on a call with you. I'm so excited. We're talking about Earth. Do you remember last time you sent me to Earth? I went, fear not. I know it's brilliant. I went, fear not, for God is with you. I'm the angel Gabriel and I'm known for going, Fear not! Uh, Jesus? Jesus, you're on mute. Take yourself off mute. Can you say that again? It's me, Dad. Jesus. I am huddled, I am huddled, I am huddled, I am huddled. I am happy, 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 happy huddled. Uh, Harold? Wait a minute, wait a minute, Harold. We just need talking today. We don't need singing. I need somebody just to be taking notes. All right. And for those people who don't know who I am, I'm God. We got a massive week planned this week. So I just thought if we all got together, got on the same page, then this week would go really, really smoothly. Because Jesus, we got some awesome things we want you to do down there on earth. But I thought we all got together. We all know how it's going to go. So this week's big plan, Jesus, is we just need to know that your disciples and everybody you talk to knows that God is enough. We want them to know that he, being you and me, Jesus and God, is all they need. So then Harold, can you get this meeting going just so that Jesus knows how we're going to rock and roll, how the run sheet's going to go. And guys, don't forget we're on Zoom. So put your hand up if you need to say something. Jesus, Jesus, he's all mad. If anybody can do it, Jesus can. Yay! No, Harold, I said just talking today. Just talking. All right. We're just going to do a bit of a recap then for everybody who's not paid attention over the last few weeks. Uh, as you know, we've been creating stories and examples that we hope that one day are going to be put into something we're going to call the Bible. Right, and that Bible's got all these great examples and stories. This week, we're pretty sure we're going to be doing a chapter called number six. It's going to go into the book of John. So, Jesus, it's probably been a bit of a busy week for you because last week you were feeding the 5,000, weren't you? You're probably feeling a little bit tired. Harold, I think you need to unmute Jesus. Yep, I'm still recovering. Can we do something a little bit more relaxing this week, I was just thinking? Thanks, Jesus, that's a great idea. Uh, let's have a think about it. 
Nope. It's a no from me. So then Jesus, it's going to be the evening and the disciples are going to be going across the Lake of Galilee to a place called Capernaum. The thing is, they're not going to have realised you're not with them. Uh, probably not that difficult to imagine, really. So then Jesus, the disciples are going to row out a little bit into the Lake of Galilee and then the wind's going to come a little bit stronger and the waves are going to come a bit bigger and they're going to get frightened. But then here's the best bit. You're going to appear to them walking on the water. Yeah, all right, great. All easy. Oh, oh, pick me, pick me, pick me, pick me, pick me. Jesus, Jesus, I know what to do. I know what to do. I know what to do. They're going to be freaking out, but I find the best thing. When people are freaking out, you just appear from nowhere and go, do not be afraid. That's it. All you have to do, it doesn't matter if they're freaking out, but just appear from nowhere and go, do not be afraid. And how's that worked out for you, Gabe, so far? Yeah, my mum Mary, she's still traumatised by the time you turned up and went, Fear not! The scars are still there! Bit harsh. So once you've appeared to them walking on the water, and maybe said what Gabe says, depends how it works out for you, you're just going to jump in the boat like it's a cool and normal thing you do, and immediately the boat is going to arrive on the shore of Caponium. Do you think you could do that? Yep, all easy. Uh, just a question. Uh, have we got any plans if there is emergency? Like if I start to sink, like, you know, a rescue jet ski, Westpac helicopter, lifesavers, anything like that? Come on, Jesus. You know that's not how we rock and roll. We're the creators of the universe. Yep, 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 fair point. Then we're going to get to the main point of the story, Jesus, that we want you to tell them. A group of people, a large group of people are going to gather and they're going to say to you, when did you get here? And so I just say, <laughs> I'm the son of God. I can travel anywhere, anytime, anyway. Check me out. No, Jesus. That's not what we want you to say to the people there. We want you to say, I am the... I am the... That's where we're getting stuck and part of the reason for the meeting. I could just say, I'm Superman. It's that problem there, Jesus. Superman wasn't created yet. Anybody else got some ideas? All right, I've got it. I've got it. I'm thinking. I am the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I'm not really sure that's going to cut it. Uh, how about I am the bread of life? <laughs> Ooh, Harold, you might be on to something. I like the sound of that. So just... A quick recap for me. Uh, I get to walk on water. And then to everybody who gathers and the disciples, I get to say, Yo, I'm a loaf of bread. Doesn't sound like that awe-inspiring. But Jesus, I just don't think you thought it through. Remember, we don't tell everybody exactly what we mean. We want them to work it out for themselves. Think about this. If you eat a piece of bread, it doesn't take too long before you're hungry again. If we say we are the bread of life, then we want them to know that if they trust in us, they're not going to go hungry again. Because if they think of us like food, then they know that as they eat, as they're part of what we are and what we do, then they're never going to need anything else. That's the message we're wanting to tell them. That's it then. <laughs> Mute. Thank you everybody for being in the meeting. Mission I Am The Bread Of Life is a go. Harold, can you send everybody the run sheets and let's get this thing moving. So, you guys ready for the memory verse? We're gonna do a challenge memory verse today. Are you ready? Here we go. Give us this day our daily bread. Matthew 6, 11. Now, what do you reckon? Can we speed it up and go really fast? Can you do it as fast as me? Give us this day our daily bread. Matthew 6, 11. Okay, I'm not sure that was really good. Maybe you could do it better. I'm thinking we should do one that's got a funny voice. Are you ready? Give us this day our daily bread. Matthew 6, 11. Well, who'd have thought we'd be doing that? 
I hope you had some great funny voices and remember your memory verse for next week. See ya. Wow, that was such a powerful message. How about this week you try to remember what they said and try to think about ways that God might be speaking to you. Until then, see you next time. Mm -hmm.